Hi, we would like to share our work on revisiting grid features for VQA. I'm Xinglei Chen, and this is our team. So why do we call it revisiting? The story begins in 2017 when it was shown that one can use region features to represent an image for vision and language tasks. Before that, people were using grid features from ImageNet models. But because region features are doing better, they have now dominated VQA challenges. But why they are performing so well? Regions do have advantages like localizing individual objects better, but are these the underlying reasons? Surprisingly, according to our controller study that got accepted to CVPR this year, grid features can perform just as well as regions if they have gone through the same pre-training task and keep a relatively high spatial resolution. For example, given a question like, is the plate white? If the features can provide the semantic and spatial cues about what and where a plate is, then they can answer the question regardless of regions or grids. But then why do we want to revisit grid features if they are just working equally well? First, they are simple, just one feed forward pass, and therefore it can run much faster. It also naturally offers a high recall and coverage because it gives outputs everywhere in the image. It is also easy to do end-to-end -end training, whereas one likely need extra bounding box annotations with the regions. And finally, it also allows us to explore fusion in earlier stages of the vision pipeline, and we find it useful for counting. Overall, grid features are a promising alternative against regions. Interestingly, we are pleased to see that there is already a nice return of grid features for VQAs this year. Our own efforts that directly train VQA models on improved grid features are winning the challenge. And even for VQA models fine-tuned from vision and language pre-training, there's a recent work called PixelBird that used grid features and got the best single model result we know. But how to get good grid features? In our case, rather than training a vanilla fast RCM model highly optimized for regions, we use a modified model with one by one hour pooling to make the backbone grid features stronger. For feature extraction, we just run the backbone ComNet and the final grid features can already match the region features in BQA accuracy. And our findings are generalizing well. We tried different backbones, different VQA models, different VQA tasks, and different other tasks. And on all of them, we find grids and regions are similar. We want to highlight our grid features with MCAM. We find by just swapping the old region features with our grids, we already achieve good results. Note that regions with the same backbone is lagging behind. So this becomes our first step towards this year's entry. But where can we do even better with grid features? One place is counting because grid features can offer a high coverage than regions and counting needs exhaustive search to answer them. So we next developed a counting module called Mubi on grids, and Ken will be talking about it. So we introduced modulated convolution bottleneck on Mubi for counting problem. Inspired from the feature-wise linear modulation of film. Our overall pilot starts from ResNet and adds a stack of four bottleneck layers before pulling an MLP. Our bottleneck design follows the standard ResNet bottleneck except for the modulation operation at the beginning of each block. Compared to the original film, our movie offers similar computation complexity. Is it pre-training friendly since we can initialize our bottleneck with pre-trained width from VG ImageNet. With Movie, we achieve state of the art results on several cutting benchmarks. It's also simple to attach Movie to a general VQA model as a cutting module. Given the VQA model and Movie, during training, we train three classifiers our general VQA, Movie, and a joint branch using fields features. During testing, only the joint branch is used for prediction. And by adding movie into MCAN, we can increase the overall performance of MCAN with the biggest improvement in the number category. For this challenge, we also added several changes to improve grid features. We train stronger backbone with better reason of interest pooling, add deformable convolution, reduce localization loss, and make the learning schedule shorter. All these are handy given our detection tool based report. With improved grids, our final single model gets 1% of improvement, and by assembling 32 models, we reach another 2%. We also have good results on test standard and test challenge. To conclude, we revisit grid features for VQA and introduce a cutting module movie. Our calls are open sourced.
Thank you.